Thanks for tuning in to GH Talk. It is Friday morning and I hope you all have a great day no matter what time of day you're watching this. On yesterday, Entertainment Weekly released an article with a preview of Jason and Sam's scenes for next week in which it is again confirmed that they will indeed make love. Their reaction online of course has been good and bad as those of us J. Sam fans, we're really excited. We've been waiting such a long time to see our faves back together and others are just like, no, Jason and Sam is in the past, we don't want this. But as source Ryan pointed out, and he said it very eloquently, that General Hospital really isn't about story anymore, it's really just about the moments now. So the fans are really just savoring the moment. It's something that we've really wanted and it's important to us. So hey, you know, enjoy what you love. And I will certainly be doing that, but check out some of the tweets and the comments made by fans who are happy and fans who are salty as hell. I said on Twitter that I do have mixed feelings about this and it is bittersweet because I knew that Steve Burton would return to the show after he left all those years ago. I wasn't happy about the recast. I did try to adjust and it just didn't work for me. And now that he's back, it's just like, yes, after all this time, I'm just, Yes, finally seven years later. So I'm going to be watching. I will be supporting my faves in the ratings. I know a lot of people are like, thank goodness that Entertainment Weekly let us know that this is going to be a skip week of General Hospital. Most folks are like, nope, I will not be supporting this, but I will. I did not actually see the clip. I did show like, I did see like the first few seconds where I think they were eating like sandwiches and Sam said, when are we going to tell Danny that mommy saved daddy? And and that's when I was like, no, no, no. I really want to see this live for the first time, you know, or not really live, but later on YouTube, thanks to Sparks Fly Out, you know? And the thing that makes it bitter for me is that, of course, you all know, I've said this plenty of times that I am not satisfied with the story leading up to their reunion. Many other JSAM fans share in this uh, thought process where they're just like, yeah, the story wasn't great, but I'm just going to relish in this moment and enjoy it. They're not taking my joy, okay? <laughs> And I absolutely agree with you all. We've been waiting for such a long time for this moment to occur. And I want there to be, I want there to be better story and I don't want there to just be moments. Moments are just supposed to highlight and accentuate the story. Another reason why this reunion is bittersweet for me is because since they had Sam with an imposter, she kind of poured out her heart and her grief and how she really missed Jason and just that longing to have him back she poured it into another man. Those feelings are still there, and I believe that some folks said that in the clip she expresses it. I didn't hear it, so I'm not sure. And I just I just wish they wouldn't have even bothered with the recast and just would have just done something else with Billy Miller. Steve Burton was always gonna come back. Like, <laughs> did y'all really think he wasn't? I'll say this again, some soap characters, just you don't recast, you don't touch it, you leave it alone. So I feel like the impact of Sam's grief over Jason has really lost a lot of its force because she, like I said, she gave all of that away to the wrong man, even though those feelings are still very valid. I did see how Killy fans were saying that, you know, they always do the hashtag Killy did it better. And they're saying that they, they are recycling dialogue from Sam and Drew's scene back in 2006 
2016 and that they're using it now. <laughs> but a lot of Jason and Sam fans are coming back with, hey, <laughs> the only reason why they exist is because they are a copy of Jason and Sam. They don't have their own history. You blink and you miss the fact that they were even married as Mr. and Mrs. Kane. But it's all about perspective. There are always people who like a cover song better than the original. I usually go with the original, but I'm not gonna sit here and knock anyone who doesn't like my ship. You know, I'm just gonna keep it moving and just be like, hey, you do you, I'm, I'm gonna be over here in this lane. I was seeing a lot of those comments underneath the Entertainment Weekly post where people were coming to express their opinion. I mean, it, it's a public post and folks were coming underneath them and were like, oh, um, why you hating? And if you don't like it, then don't watch. I hate when people tell me that. Don't you dare tell me what to do. And how do I know if I like it or not if I don't watch, okay? Anyway, I'm really excited. I hope these scenes live up to the hype and the expectation of everyone. I don't, I'm not expecting anything. I just want to enjoy this moment that they have because after this, then what? I do want to see more intimacy and cute moments between Jason and Sam. I wanna see them hug more. I wanna see them peck each other on the lips and the cheeks a little bit more when they're parting ways instead of just, you know, like, all right, bye. <laughs> but let me know your thoughts, even if you are not for Jason and Sam reuniting, just go ahead and let me know in the comments. You are entitled to your opinion, and as long as you don't get nasty on the personal level, we good. But as always, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, GHers, take care. Jason, do you ever get tired of putting your life on the line for me? I do that. This, do this is all a byproduct of the life that I chose. Okay, fine, I'll give you that, because if I was dating an insurance salesman, this definitely wouldn't be happening. But, okay, I, I wouldn't be as happy as I am when I'm with you. I mean, sometimes I don't understand. I mean, I've put you through so much. I mean, what do you, what do you get from it? I'll get you, and that's all that really matters.